you've probably already written job application for a cleaning technician or an admin assistant, but there's a few specific things I want you to pay attention to as you're actually creating the job application. And if you want the job application template that's in the course at the end, uh, I give you all my exact templates and SOPs for you to just plug and play. So I want you to create a draft of your VA job description and write down exactly what you're looking for help with. Don't just put general admin duties, be very specific and brief. So write the top three to five things that you know you want to delegate at first and put them in. So I recommend phones, scheduling, and handling teams. Those are the first three big duties that if you offload will give you hours of your day back. So be very specific with the exact things you want them to do during the day in the job description. Uh, with experience, this is a really important point. It's not just as simple as putting five or 10 years experience. I want to tell you what we do. What we do is hire VAs who are relatively new to the VA industry, not completely new, but they've been working between two to five years in the industry usually, but they have years of experience working in an office or for another local business already. Many of our VAs actually used to run cleaning companies themselves or have worked for cleaning companies. So uh, that's why they under, they're able to jump into your business straight away because they've actually done the whole thing before. Um, so we hire people who are new to the VA industry, but who actually have prior office experience. So they are familiar with phones and scheduling and how to do everything. So it's not gonna be a long adjustment period for them. Whereas if you go with a VA who has 10 years experience, they've often been out of the game for so long, they're doing social media or email funnels, they're, it's often less relevant to the work that you need them to do. So with experience, I just wanna be specific about what you should put, because if you just put a number, it's, 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 it's not gonna qualify people as good as it could. So this is a, a little strange one we put in the job description, but uh, it does help, is put what you want your assistant to love and be exceptional at because every assistant can promise you everything under the moon. The, a problem with the VA industry is most VAs offer 30 or 40 different services. <laughs> they're not very specific. They're so general and they're just kind of, okay. they're like a C out of, at all of them. They're like a 5.0 at all of them. You want an assistant who loves scheduling. They just love it. It's something fun that they do. They like making timetables and to-do lists and, and they love scheduling. You want someone who loves that stuff or who really likes talking to people on the phone and, and chatting. Like you, you want to put what they're exceptional at because you want people to explain why they're great at that and, and why that's what they love doing instead of just generally they can do it. Um, with hours, you're gonna be a little bit specific here too. Don't just put nine to five or eight to six. The advantage of a VA is that you pay them only for the time that they're working. And with a cleaning company, you're not working solid hours, eight hour days. You're working five minutes here, 10 minutes there, 20 minutes there. It's broken up throughout the day. And you pay your VA for that too. So uh, with the hours, put the hours that you want them to be available, uh, but explain that they won't be working that whole time. Just need, they need to prioritize your work when it comes in. So just, just be specific with the hours and the days. Um, and be specific with roughly how many hours they're gonna be working each day too. Maybe two hours cumulatively or three hours. Uh, and if you're doing less than 30,000 a month, they're probably only gonna be working you know, two, two and a half hours a day. There's just, there's just not that much work between them and you to do. Um, they will have a couple hours, but they're not going to be working five hours a day. So put that down as well. Um, one last thing on that is just be aware that VAs often have packages that they sell you, not just an hourly rate. So some VAs will have 30 or 60 hour packages like we do that they'll sell you every month, uh, but some will do an hourly rate. So just be aware there's kind of two different ways to do things in the VA industry. Uh, and that's why you want to be specific with the number of hours that they may work each day, because then you can work out a package together with them.